Now, Mega Man 6 is probably the one I've played the most because it was the one that, the only other Mega Man that I owned. And it was the one I could beat without cheats as a kid. Legit, I never beat Mega Man 3 as a kid without cheats. So, uh, yeah, if it was easy for kid me, it's going to be easy for adult me. Even though we're doing a buster only. Well, if the other two games are anything to go by. But we shall see. Sh shan't we? I don't know why I said shan't. I just did. Either way, let's get her done. And then I just Larry the Cabled Guy. What is wrong with my speech today? Oh, I didn't do the intro. There's an intro. Because Mega Man 6, they decided Toriyama's cool, so is Dragon Ball, so there's a robot tournament. I don't know how Blizzard Man is in there. Okay, so Roll looked very angry there, right? Now look at this. She looks ecstatic. <laughs> also, Tango is a cute. Well, that's just Wily with the, uh... I don't know what the Indians call the thing on the forehead. Well, it's not... It's a Hindi thing, so it's not exclusive to India. I don't remember what it's called. Anyway. We got some robo butts to smash, so... in the pole. And the pole is up. So, if I get Plant Man, I'm going to get uh, if I go for Plant Man, I get uh, Tango Jet, and I believe the Power Adapter is from Flame Man? Where the hell is the Power Adapter again? I don't remember. But either way, if I get them early, then I don't have to stage backtrack to get beat. Because why not have beat take the win again? We got one vote for Flame Man. Anybody else here? Nope, just some bots. All right. The fire guy it is. Okay, and as a kid, I thought these stats actually meant something. They don't, but it's just interesting. But then again, I was watching Dragon Ball Z at the time, so I was just like, Oh, tournament? Power levels? Wah! Also, this music is amazing. Like, whenever I think Mega Man 6, this is the first track that pops into my head. So yes, unlike 4 and 5, I'm not as blind with this one. Because as I said, I've been playing it quite often. <laughs> and for quite a long time. do stuff like that. Hey, 
It's funny going back and forth from the charge and not charge, because I'm playing Mega Man 9 on my Switch right now. Also, I love that glitch. If an oil area was lit on fire, uh, it stays in the ram. So even when you uh, even when you respawn, it's still on fire. Which really makes it seem like Mega Man roll our clones. Man, maybe I should become Matt Pat and make a game theory about it. Ah, uh, maybe not, because then I'd have to give the Pope Undertale, and I don't feel like going to the Vatican. So, Flame Guy shoots out some pillars, which are very RNG and kind of hard to dodge, and also block your shots, but then he does uh, three really slow fireballs. And of course he tries to jump on you. And that looks awesome. Okay. Power was on Flame Man, so there we go. We have the power adapter right away. So, Flame Man is down. Where are we going now? Absolutely stuffed on trash food now. I went and got some Little Caesars. That super garlicky Parmesan crazy bread is too good. And Plant Man. Josh wants me to get all the upgrades to start with. Now, for transparency, I don't consider the jet power-up to be non-buster because you're still using your buster. Actually, it's a hamper because you can't use your charge shot. The power adapter, though, I'll only use two access areas. Like this. Oh, you can see... Yeah, the power adapter. I only saw the jet one. Strong roll. Roll smash. Although, I've got to love the cat ear headphones. Remember when I said there was a return of the asshole Stompy Boys? Those are it.
Oddly enough, they're less threatening. What's up, Eddie? Give me something good. Nah, that's good enough. What up, Bob? That was Axiom Verge. Good shit. Obviously, I'm just leaving you lurks because I don't want to. I don't want to have it spoiled. But I'm sure I mentioned that last time. Okay, because I may intend because I intend on playing it eventually. I'm an idiot. I never just missed the poll. Oh yeah, Bob, check this out. Strong roll with kitty ears. Cat Ouija, yep. Every time with those stupid fish. Oh yes, and the incredibly laggy beetles. Actually, I think it's the leaf effect? Yeah, for some reason that falling leaf effect really kills the spray limit. shoot his fist to make him go back, but it kind of just makes it neutral, so you're better off just going for the head. Going straight for the eyes. To be respawning enemies. Oh, and you can land on these things when they're closed. But it's like pixel perfect if you want to stay on it or else you just slip off. Summons a shield, jumps, and then shoots. <laughs> Biggest joke of a boss. Good one, Plant Man. Try again. You'll get it this time. No? Hmm. You remember Wood Man? Yeah. I remember Wood, man. She's Woodman's neurodivergent cousin. I'll tell you what was twice removed. His brain got him. All right, so we have both Kitty Strength and Kitty Jet. So we are free to get beat. But the pull is up.
Jeez, I thought you were going to pick three again. Bob, do you have a choice? Assuming you didn't go get food or something. I think Bob went to go get food. Well, blizzard man it is. This guy's pretty easy to take out. You just dig up a bunch of dirt on shit he did years ago, and then he gets his boss to hire a uh, union-busting firm. I forgot I could do the shimmy. Oh yeah, that's just an extra life anyway. Doesn't really matter. I am grabbing that E-Tank though. Why is flame lime green, by the way? Oh yes. Roll jet. Unfortunately, roll jet is not that good in this situation because you can't charge or slide, and you kind of need to slide here. I thought this mechanic was really cool. Like, the fact that your pellets go up and down as the ship moves. You'd be like, can't hit him. Ship's going up, can't hit him. Although it sounds like the sub's breathing, and that's kind of disturbing. Mega Man enemies are pretty dope. Okay, welcome to Blizzard Man. He turns into a ball and he charges at you. And then sometimes he actually shoots his, uh... Yeah. Sometimes he does that. Also, I like the modded palette for, uh, Roll Chan here. Oh yeah, sometimes he skis towards you, but very rarely. Probably not gonna get him this round.
All right, Blizzardman is down. Pull us back up. Where are we going? Man, you just want me to get beat last, don't you? It's fine, I'm not going to use them anyway, but... Uh It seems Robert G. Moogle is still indisposed, so, uh... Or he's lurking and he don't care. Either way, we're going to win, man. It's Bob. I just call him Robert G. Moogle. Because it's funny. Oh yeah, so it's a chunky barfing pandas. Again, another banger track, and this is why... I, this is why Mega Man 6 is probably my uh, favorite OST. Because I can't think of one bad track. It'll come to me. And also, bad by Mega Man standards means it's not as good as a banger, but it's still good. <laughs> Mega Man music, much like Sex and Pizza, is uh, when it's when it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's still pretty damn good. Yeah, like even if I point out a track that I don't like in Mega Man, it's still very good. are stronger ones. Okay, noted. It's funny, some of uh, my uh, elementary school friends were like, man, that those uh, platforms are so bad. I'm like, have you tried the Shadow Man ones in Mega Man 3? Those are bad. <laughs> Little did we know about Guts Man's moving platforms in Mega Man 1.
Yeah, emphasis on the sucking. Flawless and victory. That's Windman down. Where are we going? Well then, it's my call. And we are gonna go to... Blizzard Man, no. Yamato. I don't know what's wrong with that thing's eyes, but it... Oh, I think it's just one eye. Yeah, motto man. It's a tanuki. Okay. This thing? I always saw it as... Oh, I don't have my... Uh, hold up. Okay. So... I always never saw this part, and I always just thought this was just like one depressed looking eyeball looking down. He's all like, oh, I'm sad. But now I notice that mouth, nose, eyes, ears. It's a tanuki. I did not get that as a kid. I did not get that until now, actually. I mean, Yamato, man, it kind of makes sense, right? Yamato's so fat. They hit the jetpack. Actually, what's the uh, power look like on the ladder? Pretty normal, actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why are there spikes there? Like, who's dumb enough to try to jump into that? Hey, it's Spring Man. Time for your motto, man. Mister, I chuck spearheads at you. And just the heads, not actual spears. And then he has to go pick it up. Like, what kind of design? I mean, yes, I know this was... Like, Yamato Man was a uh, Nintendo Power fan design, but jeez. Oh, he got me once. Motto's out of here. Down to three. Where are we going? Bird gift change, eh? Josh wants centaur. Anybody else? Going once, going twice, going 300,255 times. And sold. Uh, I'm guessing Tomahawk. Like, this track is probably my, is probably, like, my least favorite out of all of them, and it's still good. Also, silly pelican, you're supposed to keep the fish, not spew them out. Yeah, I like Tomahawk Man, too. Well, I like his stage. His, the boss is kind of a joke. At least he forces you to slide when he attacks. Dang it. You say Native American culture, but I'm sure if you asked Twitter, they'd say it's racist. I didn't know that. Also, this. This was the coolest concept. I 
and they never elaborated on it. Like, Centaur Man is the only one that has this in the stage. And it's so cool. Right off the bat, good dude. Anti-gravity water. Don't ask how it works. We don't know either. We just know it's freaking cool, man. Also, I like how they refine the, uh, the water effect. Although it looks more like sewage now, at least it's not, like, eye-bleedingly bright. Time for discount flash, man. did the freeze thing once. Since I know who you're going to vote for next, sound off in chat if you're here, or I just won't bother putting it to the poll. Crickets, dust, and tumbleweeds. As I thought. I didn't even bother putting the poll up because I know where you wanted to go. Master of Mace Ball! This track, though. Yeah, that's why I didn't bother putting up the poll. Nobody else is here. Oh yeah, these guys. Is it, what? Excuse me? Stop it. Dude. Come on. Seriously. Ow. I accidentally bonked my head on that spike, so... Remember I was saying in uh, Mega Man 5 how there was the evolution of Mega Man 6? Or was that 4? Like, oh yeah, the uh, turret with the covered face, that's clever. Well, yeah, this is the evolution of them.
Mr. Edman, bring me a dream. Or an E-Tank. I'll take for, I'll take an E-Tank. Thank you, Eddie. These guys I don't get, though. Like, you hit them once, they lose their glasses and their top, I guess? Like, they literally blow their lid? What are they supposed to be? Bounty Castle! So just a tip, as a uh, power Mega Man, or power roll in this case, you can actually punch through Nightman's shield and uh, parts where he's immune to damage. I do not consider the power buster part of the buster only though, so I won't be using it. And it makes him actually challenging because he's a goddamn joke against Power Mega Man. Well, at least this time I don't have to backtrack to get beat. Damn good music, damn good stage. I used to think there was something over there. There is not. It's the Met Dispenser. Yeah, isn't that a bit racist? <laughs> they went, okay. Let's let's have a native robot. What should his uh, level be filled with cowboy stuff? This, though, this is... Really cool. Yes, I'm going to use pow- Ugh, is that the right thing, dumbass? There we go. I like this little jet course, too. It's not hard or anything, it's just fun to use the jet. Yeah. 
Because as a kid, I did, like, jet-only and power-only playthroughs, so... Uh... I am familiar with how they work. Like this one. If you can get the feathering right, you can just kind of hover and shoot. It's tough as hell to do, though. I forgot how many jet courses there are in this. I mean, it kind of makes sense because uh, Tomahawk is weak to uh, Plant Man. So naturally, you'd come here. find weird about Mega Maker? The Silver Tomahawk is like a meme in it. For some reason, I don't know why. But yet, Tomahawk Man isn't in as a boss. Yeah, that was close. for Mr. X. Also, this looks like an unamused face. Also, amazing track. And the background. Like, you can imagine if the NES could do parallax scrolling how amazing this would look. And no, I'm not going into that secret area. Unless you guys want me to die like a thousand times. If you've played Mega Man 6, you know which one. If you haven't, well, you'll see it momentarily. This is the thing. You have to do one of these, micro hop over, break that with Power Man, and get through. All right. Thankfully, if you err on the side of being too late, you just fall down. But more than often, you die. Oh, I've done it. I've done it several times. I just didn't want to. Because the reward is like four E-tanks and I'm maxed out, so... Never mind, did it. Happy.
Oh yeah, it's four extra lives on four E-Tanks. forgot about these doofuses. I guess they're not much doofuses if they're kicking my ass. one if it actually made a complete frickin' circle there. But I know it stops just before it goes upwards on the right. Like I said, I've played this game a lot. Now we're in the space egg. Still got me. Yep, it's a walk-in skull. I think the Legacy Collection says it's a uh, recycled thing from Skullman. <clears throat> Although I don't remember them being in Skullman's level. Oh yeah, this guy. This is gonna be a pain in the dick. I might just have to do this jet. So I can actually hit him. Falling debris does more damage than his attack. Thank you. 
It did two damage that time. Fine. I'm just gonna use E-Tanks here. Normally this guy's a joke, but, uh, yeah. Well, because you're supposed to use Sulphur Tomahawk here, and he goes down on, like, four hits. So, not doing so. that explosion noise. Oh, Mega Man 6 sure does. <laughs> sure loves it. Never gets sick of it. Even he explodes with the same goddamn noise. Ba -ba -ba -bam. I actually think I wanted to go the other way. Nah, I got AD tanks. If I can't do it on AD tanks, then, uh... Yeesh. That's all I will say to that situation is yeesh. Jet. Hell yeah. Jet for. Oh, that was lucky. Mm. 
み。Alright, we're good. Yes, Super Matt. You're gonna wish you'd never met the Super Matt. I believe that is me tool Z. The arm start punch in the 16 bit era. That's too much sprite for Nintendo. <laughs> the best feature in the games? The uh, Mega Jet? Or the Rush Jet Adapter? Birds everywhere, yes. Jerk birds that try to swoop me. It's like they think they're minas or something. Mega Jet! I guess in this case, Tango Jet. Now, fun fact, I almost never take this path. You can go right on that previous screen. It's a knee tank. That's sports spawn again. I forgot, staying on the left is safer, much safer. Now this is a spore spawn, that's all. Oh, 
Oh, here comes failed. Oh, they changed it. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Okay. It was Dr. Wily all along. Who would have guessed? And the most Japanese looking Wily castle. <laughs> Again, another banger track. So I said, like, the one I like the least in this is Centaur Man. And that's only because it's chill. Like, I still like it, I just don't think it fits thematically. There's a secret over there. Ah, missed. Can I go back up? Nope. Yeah, what's up, Dex? Yeah, missed most of Mega Man. Yeah, we're up to the point where we knew it was Wily all along. How oh, fun. Dinosaur. I forgot about the dinosaur. Dex, in case you were wondering, I did manage to beat Katana Zero on hard mode. That boss was a pain in the ass, though. Well, sorry, the boss wasn't the pain in the ass, it's all the ads that you had to deal with. Got him. What's still up on my channel if you want to watch it. Should be there for another, I'd say, 10 days. I didn't highlight it or anything. I'm gonna highlight this, though. Also, with the uh, suspicious liquid in the back, this looks more like Wily's Spank Bank than his uh, Frozen. It looks more like his Spank Bank than his Freezer, let's put it that way. Because it's not Mega Man, it's Roll. Oh, it's the dreaded dupes. Dupes of Doom. Yeah, it's a sprite hack that uh, basically you play as Roll instead. And instead of Rush, you have Tango. The cat.
Yep, I have uh, one through five uh, in a collection on my uh, stream already. If you go to full streams, one through five are there, and it's all the uh, Royal Chance Spray Hack. They're all really good. boss, then, well, I guess it's actually a boss, but one more boss, and then refights, and then Wily. That's just about to kill me, so uh, good timing. Yep, my first Mega Man was Mega Man 3. Sucking and blowing, Josh. There you go. God damn it. X6 was your first? Jesus. My condolences. Then again, I stopped liking Mega Man after X4, and I kind of only slightly liked X4, so. I mean, the gameplay was fine, the anime cutscenes were cringe as hell. Ah, goddammit. Yep, nice going. I died. It's almost like these games are difficult or something. What a thunk it. <laughs> Especially when you get pushed and pulled like that, Jesus. Last time I got that push and pulled, it took, cost me an extra hundred at the rub and tug. Oh wait, this isn't rage, I shouldn't be crude. I'm just like, fuck it, it's my channel and it's 18 plus, I'll do what I want. Time for refights, which will be significantly easier than that stage. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's people who will do uh, no hit buster only. I'm not that much of a masochist, so I'm not going to. Also, this is just... It's an excuse to enjoy Mega Man again without adding a, like, insanely difficult challenge. Because Buster only is really only a pain in the ass on the uh, first three. Once you get charged, it's all over. But yes, I've seen those runs, and Jesus Christ, they're insane. Then again, those people play a lot of Mega Man, so... Were I that practice, could I do it? Probably. Am I going to practice that much? No. Hell no. Stop point blanking me, you asshole. Sheesh. You master these games by sinking the amount of hours into them that most people do into open world games. Because you think, like, somebody who's like, oh, I have a thousand hours in Skyrim, you're like, okay, so you just played a decent amount of Skyrim. And then somebody, I have a thousand hours of Mega Man 2, you're like, what the fuck? Because once you get good, these games are like an hour or less to beat, so that's a thousand runs. I mean, it's the same way I got, I got into uh, Cave Story speedrunning. I have 760 hours in Cave Story Plus. I still can't even come close to Shadax's record. Then again, Shadax is a mash god, so um, that's pretty much my bottleneck. Dude can mash at like 30 hertz, it's ridiculous. Batman speedrunning counts. Any speedrunning counts. Try again, Plant Man. You can do it. I believe in you. See, you got a hit. Yay! Uh, that's technically two, because I wasn't paying attention at first. Plant Man got a few hits. It's time for Kniggit Man. Well, Three stupid ball thing. Thank you. Yep. It's pattern memorization and muscle memory. Like it is for most 2D platformers. Because somebody else has already optimized the route, so you just gotta memorize it. Probably why I don't speedrun, because I always try to reinvent the wheel. Because I hate just, like, seeing someone else's work and routing and then just, like, repeating it, basically. I know there's some, you know, there's some merit to just wanting to be mechanically, executionally better than someone else. But I'd rather find an entire route of like, okay, this is how I should speedrun this game. Tried doing Nine Cave Story and it just didn't work.
Yeah, modern games tend to have, you know, more advanced AI, so there's uh, some better RNG than just, like, moving in a pattern. All right, it is Wily time. And I am still burpy from all that trash pizza and crazy bread I ate. Oh yeah, speedrunning alien isolation is a freaking joke. You just glitch out the alien. It's a perfectly working game, eh, Pitchford? Just like Borderlands is funny. Kappa. Eddie! What you got? An extra life. Wait, do what? Glitch out the alien? Yeah, alien isolation on launch was glitchy as fuck. Also, this boss theme. This boss theme. Stage two. Oh, you don't actually have to hit anywhere in particular. Dick. <laughs> it's very much last level, yes. Fine, you're gonna refill, so am I. Oh my god, just hit the fucking guy. Well, I'd beat have the win, though. Because my birdie buddy's got to win. If Wily gave up, then there'd be no more Mega Man games. Although, after Mega Man 11, maybe, <laughs> maybe Wily should give up. Get him to the last pip, and then... Beat! It's your time to shine, buddy! Birdie boy, go! Get him! Get him! Get him! Beat! Fine. Bird's being temperamental. Yes, because I'm sure a prison will hold Wiley. At least you get these cool endings. So, an hour and a half for that one. To be... not to be, uh... That shouldn't be shocking, is what I meant to say. 
because, you know, this was the second Mega Man game I had as a kid, and it was my most frequently played, and it's probably one of the easiest. Although this is good because I got a lot of digging to do. You know how I said I was going to dig out the rest of the line for the uh, Mega Igloo in Minecraft? Um, yeah, I have yet to do that. So pretty much once I'm done stream here, I'm going to go do that so we actually have an interesting stream tomorrow. I love this mashup though. I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, that's right. Wind Man was also another contest winner. So for those of you who don't know and didn't and join the stream late, um, I think Windman, Yamato Man, and Nightman were uh, designed by uh, postcard mail-in to uh, Nintendo Power. I don't know, there might have been more of them, but uh, yeah. the Capcom team still can't use the real name, but they can use everybody else's. That was a weird business practice in Japan back then. I mean, I understand why, but it's still weird. Like, they couldn't put the people's real name in the credits because they were afraid that other companies would just snipe them. And that is the end of Mega Man 5. 6. 5. What the hell? 